Hello, boys and girls. Nice to see you again. My name is Alnura, and I'm your English teacher. Today we are going to learn some new household objects vocabulary. If you're ready, let's start. But before getting into the topic, I want to ask you repeat after me, so that you learn correct pronunciation of new words and remember them better. The very thing with what we cover our bed in the morning every day is called a bed spread. Bed spread. Blanket helps us feel comfortable while sleeping. A blanket. It's a bed sheet that is a flat cloth that you cover a bed with. Sheet. Most people cannot sleep without a pillow. We put it under our head. Pillow. Why do you think your bed is so soft? Because you have mattress on it. Mattress. And it's usually puffy and thick. Well, they were bedroom objects. Let's have a look at bathroom items. They are towel and soap. Towel, soap. I hope you constantly wash your hands with soap. It's sponge, sponge. We have to brush our teeth twice a day so that we don't have toothache then. Well, there are toothpaste and toothbrush. Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Usually girls use it. And comb. Comb. Wash basin. Wash basin. It is used for washing hands, dishwashing, and other purposes. Well, sinks have taps that supply hot and cold water. A tap. There may be a bath, a bath, or a shower in your bathroom. Shower. The most important items of a washroom are toilet, toilet, and toilet paper, toilet paper. The thing with what you clean the floor of your house is a mop, mop, and it can be usually filled with water, a bucket. Well, let's watch a video reviewing new bathroom vocabulary. Bathroom. Shower. Sink. Soap. Mirror. Lights. Towel. Cabinet, toilet, toilet paper, bathtub, bath mat, shelf, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo. Comb, hairbrush, hair dryer, toilet brush, plunger, sponge, scale. Okay, it's living room's turn now. Look at the picture. You might think it's pillow. No, it's a cushion. However, there's a big difference between pillow and cushion. 
Pillows serve a more functional role in the bedroom. They are meant to support your head, neck, and spinal alignment. Cushions are thought of as decorative accents for sofas, chairs, armchairs, and the like. It's a carpet. Carpet. Why do we need curtains? We need them to protect our eyes from any light which is coming from outside. Moreover, curtains help us to cover windows so that no one can see what's happening inside the house. So it's curtains. Curtains. If there was no mirror in the world, we won't be able to see ourselves and our reflections. So it's mirror. Well, that's a picture. Picture. Many of you may have a lamp on your study table. It's a useful thing which provides us with light. It's a lamp. Lamp. A light bulb. It provides us with light as well. It's usually put in chandeliers. You won't be able to know what time is it. If you don't have a clock. Clock. Is it a quality of a good children? Is it a quality of a good child throwing garbage on the ground? You're right, it's not. That's why we have litter bin to throw the garbage there. Litter bin. Last but one is a flower pot where we put soil to help the plants and flowers grow. And of course we need watering can, which can be found in the garden to water all the plants. Flower pot. Watering can. Well, children, it's time for doing some exercises. And then we'll play a quiz game. What has happened here? This living room is empty. We've got to fix this. Should we add everything that's missing? Let's take a look at everything we are going to need. The armchair. We sit in the armchair to rest or to read. The sofa. The whole family can sit on the sofa. It's really big. The television. Look, here is the television. We are going to watch a movie. The paintings. We can decorate the walls with these paintings. The end table. We call this small table the end table. The telephone. The telephone is ringing. Who could it be? The lamp. We need the lamp so we can have light in the living room. The curtains. The curtains are beside the window and they help block out light. Perfect. Now we need to put everything in its place. Will you help me? The armchair. Let's place it over here on this side. The sofa. Let's put it here. Great. The television. Let's set it in this spot. Great. The paintings. We will hang the paintings on this wall. Perfect. The end table. Let's put it right here. The telephone. The telephone goes on top of the end table. Great. The lamp. We also need to put the lamp on the end table. Done. The curtains. And the curtains next to the window. Fantastic. That's a wrap. We set up the whole living room. Let's review so that we don't forget anything. The armchair. The sofa. The television. The paintings. The end table the telephone, the lamp, 
The curtains. Great. Okay. There are some definitions of household objects. You have to match the words with definitions. Now, let's check your answers. You keep food here. It's a fridge. You look at yourself in it. It's a mirror. You wash your hands here. It's the sink. You wash your body here. It's a bath. Let's continue completing our task. You wash the dishes here. It's a wash basin. You cook on cooker. You put it on the floor. It's a carpet. You cover a window with it. Curtains. You put them on the sofa to sit comfortably. Cushions. Now we shall start our quiz game. The first household item is a sponge. Sponge. Where can we usually find it? Yes, in the bathroom. This might be our favorite item. What's this? Bed. Where is it? Yes, it's in the bedroom. Do you remember this item's name, children? Armchair. Yes. It's a noun chair. We can find it in the living room. Well, remember our last household item. It helps us in watering the plants. Watering can. Where can we find it? Yes, it's in the backyard. Yes, you're right. It's a wash basin. Wash basin. And where is it? It's in the bathroom. What's this? We need it to hang our clothes, especially coat. Coat stand. Well, it's a coat stand. Where is it? 
Is it in the kitchen? No, in the hallway. Look at the picture of this item carefully. Is it big to be able to have lunch at? No, it's small coffee, coffee table. table. Where is it? Yes, it's in the living room. Well, children, try to remember video revision. Which room it was? Yes, bathroom. How do we call this item? Toothbrush. Yes, you're right. It's a toothbrush. Where can we find it? In the bathroom. It should be easy for you. You use this item every time when you do homework. Yeah, it's a desk. Desk. But is it in the kitchen? No, it's in study room. We put this item on our bed so that it will be soft and comfortable to sleep on it. Yes, it's a mattress. Mattress. Where is it? Yes, you're right. It's in the bathroom. How do we call this item? We wipe our hands and faces with it. Towel. But where can we find it? In the bathroom. You have to wash your hands with this item every time. It's a soap. Soap. And of course, it can be found in the bathroom. Well, what do you think is it? Yes, it's a sink. Sink. And the, this item in the kitchen. You can see your reflection on it. Mirror. Mirror. Yes, it can be in the hallway. Where do you put your clothes and other stuffs to keep your room tidy? Under your bed? No, in the wardrobe. Wardrobe. And where is it? It's in the bedroom. But you have to keep your kitchen clean and tidy too. So, it's a cupboard. Cupboard. As you have already known, it's in the kitchen. Well, children, look at this picture very carefully. There are three items on it. On the top are lamp and clock. And the biggest item is called bedside table.
Yes, good for you. It's a bedside table. And it's in which room? Yes, it's in the bedroom. And the very important and last item of our quiz game is... Table. A table. Where is it? In pantry? Is it in the garage? Yes, it's in the dining room. Well, children, you made a great job passing quiz and completing some tasks. So now you will be able to talk on household objects which you have in your house and discuss them with your friends. See you next lesson. Goodbye.